ready for a wet weekend. We're tracking a rare round of September rain next. As droughts get worse, it's clear that it will be less expensive and safer to underground lines in high fire threat areas. Undergrounding thousands of miles of power lines is just one part of our work to improve safety and reliability. I'm Patty Poppy, the new CEO of PG&E, and it is my mission to work side-by-side -side with the people of PG&E to rebuild your hometown utility from the underground up. To learn more, visit pge.com slash undergrounding. Nothing gets you going. Quite like a McDonald's breakfast. McDonald's? My treat? Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Start your day with a sausage burrito, sausage McMuffin, or hash browns and get another for just a dollar. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Now to love it, a rare round of September rain is on the way, but not everyone is looking forward to the wet weekend, the problems it could cause. And we're close enough to this now, we can get specific and put numbers. How much rain are we going to get out of this in your part of the bay? Well, that's coming up in the first look forecast. Plus, a devastating day across the bay from a balcony collapse to horrific crashes involving children. And Governor Newsom exchanges fresh political fire with his Florida counterpart, the ammunition, hair Good evening, I'm Kenny Choi. This weekend's rain could result in the wettest September the Bay Area has seen in decades. Of course, that's all relative. It's not a very high threshold to break. We're expecting to see anywhere from half an inch to two inches, depending on where you live. First alert, meteorologist Darren Peck is here to break it all down for us on exactly how much we're going to hit. We got a good idea from those bar graphs, but coming up in the complete first look forecast, I'm going to put a specific number on each little kind of little pocket for the base so hang out for that but for right now let's